That was the biggest wave I've seen. It's nightmare fuel. My name is Joseph Ivey. I was one of the flight mechs that responded to the motor vessel Sandpiper search and rescue case. And I'm Branch Walton, and I was the rescue swimmer. Today, we are going to watch the uh, playback of that case and see if we can't relive a little bit of it for you. So right off the bat, we have the uh, 47 motor lifeboat already on scene trying to make their initial contact with the survivor. We decided that we um, would deliver Branch to the water and see if he could get the survivor off. I was definitely nervous sitting in the back, um, but also ready to go. Whenever we delivered Branch to the water the first time, we were just timing the waves out. Um, we didn't want to put him into one of the face of one of those waves. He would have shot back to our tail while still on the hoist hook. I was definitely cognizant or trying to be aware of waves, um, but my main focus was to get over to the boat. We saw exactly when Branch made the first contact with the survivor. I was just yelling at him to get off the boat. I was, I was yelling at him a lot, and he was yelling back at me. I didn't know what he was saying. Um, I couldn't hear him. It was, so, it was so loud with the waves and the helicopter. Mr. Schrockman, which was flying co-pilot at the time, uh, had already ha seen the wave coming, and we were talking in the aircraft about how to let Branch know that, hey, this thing's actually building to be a monster more than the waves that were already out there. I asked one of the senior guys in my shop, like, hey, any advice? And he just said, bite down on your snorkel. So <laughs> that's kind of what I did. It was violent. <laughs> That's really the only way to put it. It was really violent, and I kind of thought, like, man, how much longer is this gonna take? We immediately started looking for both Branch and the survivor. I remember popping up, giving the I'm okay signal, and then my favorite part was seeing them swoop in. They just swooped in, and I saw the hook coming down, and I got happy when I saw the hook. I was like, let's go. And as I was hooking up, I saw the survivor pop up. And then once we got to the cabin, it was just, a lot of relief. Nothing went to plan. We had this nice elaborate plan set up and nothing went to plan. And uh, still, life saved. So, worked out great. I think y'all did great. Appreciate it. Y'all did amazing. We think obviously <laughs> the same to you. Did amazing, man.